Welcome back to CN2 Sports. It has been an emotional week at Eastern Kentucky. Let's welcome in head coach Dean Hood. Coach, thank you very much for taking time to talk with us. And first and foremost, our condolences and our sympathies on the loss of defensive lineman Joey Kramer. How are you doing? How are the coaches? How are the players? How is the team doing? You know, everybody's, everybody's down. Everybody's, uh, you know, uh, working their way through it in their own way. Uh, but with the knowledge and, you know, understanding that, uh, you know, we're a family. And, you know, as a family, you, you, know, you, you win games, you lose games, you, you celebrate things in life, you, you mourn and uh, have sorrow together over the loss of life and, and different disappointments that come along the way. So, you know, we're, we're working through this thing as a family. And, and uh, you know, all of us are, uh, you know, have, have uh, Joey's family and our in our prayers uh, as well, thinking about them through this time. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been tough, tough on everybody. And, uh, but we will get through it and we'll be stronger because of it. And uh, just our, you know, our deepest sympathies to, uh, to Joey's family. Uh, it, it's, it sounds like a, a very, very tough task now to, to ask the team and yourself and the coaches to prepare for a game coming up this weekend. I guess the game does go on. How do you deal with the preparation of the game coming up against UK, knowing that it, to a lot of people it probably seems very secondary? Well, it is. You know, I've, I've quoted, I don't know who said it, but I've quoted you know, for years uh, that football is not near as important as everybody thinks it is, but it's more important than anyone will ever know. And, you know, our society is, you know, crazy with our, uh, you know, love of sports and the value we place on it is, you know, way too high and devalue other things that are really, really important. Uh, you know, get, kids get, you know, tweets, you know, you're no good if you drop a touchdown pass and, you know, you're a loser and, you know, things like that. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's the most valuable thing there is because that's what's helping us get through it, the, the life lessons, the things we learned on the football field are the things that are that are helping us helping us get through this uh, and it's uh, and it's also the team and not only our team but you know I've, I've gotten texts from uh, you know coaches in our league coach Toop from from Simo, Rod Reed from Tennessee State you know former coaches Chris Hatcher that was at Murray and Mitch Stewart called and, you know and then opponents you know got we got flowers this morning from NC State uh, NC State's coach and team and Coach Stoops and I have talked on the phone. We got an email from Coach Petrino. So, you know, football is more valuable than people ever know because it's an unbelievable family. It's, you know, it's it's the closest thing we have to, you know, going through war, being in war together. Those those guys are, you know, lifelong friends. And, and uh, sports is that way. And I think, uh, you know, more than any other sport, probably football, just because of the nature of it. And this is a situation where EKU and UK so close to each other. I'm sure a lot of the players know each other, and I know that their coach Stoop said in his press conference that a couple of the UK players uh, knew Joey Kramer. Yeah, Joey had a teammate that's uh, you know actually on Kentucky's team, uh, a high school teammate over at Kettering Alter. So I know that uh, you know he he's spent some time, I believe, from what I hear, you know with with Coach Stoops talking about Joey. So, you know, the, the football side of it, you know, it's it's actually a, a relief, you know, when you, you get a chance to work on football, you know, it's, it uh, gives you a chance to get some normalcy, you know, to, to everything and, and uh, you know, do that, do that. And it's almost, you know, like a vacation. It's difficult from the standpoint of, uh, you know, you don't have uh, as much, time you know to do it with everything else that's going on but uh, you know there's I think it's been a relief for some of our guys and some of our coaches because you know Joey's been weighing heavy on our hearts and minds and and uh, get busy doing something else I think is is good for you so let me respectfully ask you about the game coming up uh, it's a UK team coming off a big emotional win against Missouri uh, you guys are coming off your first conference victory against Austin P. What do you see from the Wildcats on the field? Well, I see that, that you know Coach Stoop is just a you know he's done a tremendous job. Uh, I mean you're talking about you know not only 
beating a, an SEC team that's you know was ranked, you know, but they you know coulda woulda shoulda against Florida and, and, and beat South Carolina. I mean, they're they're a three and O team in the SEC, and it's, you know the SEC. You know, I know there's debates out there on on all this stuff, but I mean there's there's no question really in my mind SEC is the strongest conference in all of college football and uh, you know be two and one in that league you know that's that says a lot you know we're not just talking about you know can Kentucky's better Kentucky's a contender Kentucky's you know uh, on the upswing they are they've arrived they're there and uh, they look really good all right and coach uh, I know there was some talk of uh, perhaps a pregame ceremony taking place have you heard anything about that this Saturday yeah, you know, Coach Stoops said that you know their administration was working on something, you know, for Joey, and then and then our guys have come in, you know, very heartfelt, uh, you know, things that, that they would, you know, like to do, and so rather than just you know commit to anything emotionally, you know, I've just been writing everything down as it comes, as the kids come in with ideas on things to do to honor Joey. So we haven't made a decision, but we're going to do something. I know UK is working on uh, on doing something uh, either before or during or halftime or something of the game and and, uh, and, I, and I know Joey's fan will appreciate that. Well coach again thank you for giving us a few minutes and thank you for sharing with uh, all our viewers uh, how EKU is dealing this very very hard week. Um, thank you again and just know that our thoughts and prayers are with you and the entire EKU family. Okay thanks appreciate it.